ऑल वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इफ यू आर विलिंग टू गेट प्लेस इन अ प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस एंड सून शील बी शेयरिंग हर जर्नी विद ऑल ऑफ अस एंड वील बी गेटिंग एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू नो मोर अबाउट हर टू नो मोर अबाउट हर जर्नी सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच द कंप्लीट वीडियो बट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर टू द वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यूट दिस चैनल और इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टेन नाउ टेन गेस्ट टू कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माई चैनल इट विल रियली मोटिवेट मी टू क्रिएट मोर सच कॉन्टेंट फॉर यू एंड आई एम श्योर द चैनल विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो डू सब्सक्राइब by my channel and make sure to join our telegram community as well the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself so yeah let's get started one more thing to mention here that even she has a great amazing youtube channel of her so you can just check it out i have provided the link in the description so that's all from my side you can start with your introduction vanda yeah so uh, for, for thank you for inviting me Uh, my name is Brinda, and I'm currently a B Tech student from Bhubi Panth University. Uh, and I have received offers from LinkedIn as well as Microsoft. So mm -hmm. I've also done my summer internship from LinkedIn, and I also have a YouTube channel. Great, great! Congratulations, first of all, Brinda, and again, thank you for accepting my invitation. And again, it's my pleasure to have you here on my YouTube channel. So I'm curious to know whether you got these opportunities uh, on campus or off campus. Yeah, so both the opportunities were off campus. Okay, that's amazing. So obviously, the next question that is you know coming into my mind is that like how you got these opportunities? You applied through referral or you know you directly applied through the portal itself. Uh, so yeah, how did you do that? Yeah, so uh, like it was a thing that uh, it was my habit to keep my LinkedIn profile updated. so because of that i received messages from the recruiter so in both the cases even in linkedin and in microsoft in both the cases the recruiter contacted me on my linkedin that uh, i can like proceed so they applied for a referral and then i got the interview opportunity great so now i can say i can say that guys this is how important linkedin is now even you can see brinda itself got the opportunity from the linkedin itself and now you can see where she is currently uh, so well um, i'm interested to know how you started preparing like uh, the first question would be that were you were having in your mind from the starting itself that i have to you know get a opportunity i have to get placed in a product based company or like what the scenario was in your case uh yeah so like most of the students i too was a lot confused in my first year and second year and i did not know where to go like where to prepare for gate or to go for mba or to go for a job so uh, what i did was i kept my mind very free and started exploring opportunities i participated in uh, various open source events i participated in student programs uh, i have been microsoft learn student ambassador as well Okay. so uh, i yeah so i like explored various options and after that i started coding as well and i found out that i have a lot of interest in development in coding and then uh, like i prepared for these companies okay okay got it so next question is uh, would be that like how you started preparing like your main focus was on coding itself and what were the resources you followed or along with uh, coding you did some development also Yeah so uh, first of all i learned a language uh, i learned python java i knew from the starting mm -hmm. and then i like brushed up some java as well then i did parallelly some of the development work i learned some new technologies like ml and i also learned django for web development and uh, side by side i did coding for coding i learned dsa first like i started going reading articles taking courses from coursera i read articles from gfg practice some very basic questions from lead code and interview bit and after that i uh, after reading all of that i started practicing more and more questions on lead code and interview bit and that helped me a lot i also explored some part of competitive programming Uh, that I did from Coach Chef mainly. Okay, okay, got. It. So were you like it is possible? Like it is. Um, I must say, key like this happens that somewhere you know you got stuck and you are not able to solve the problems or you get demotivated. So this kind of scenario, I I'm sure must be happened with you as well. So how you like come up with all of those things and continued what you are doing? 
Yeah, so for that, what I would like to say is that keep talking to people. So for any specific thing, like uh, if I wanted to be in a student program, like in uh, MLSA, so mm -hmm. I searched on LinkedIn for the people who are already at that position and I talked to them. I mm -hmm. asked them for their experiences and learned from there and then I got selected. Similarly for LinkedIn, similarly for Microsoft, I talked to a lot of seniors and a lot of experienced people who are at that position where I want to be. So that helped me a lot. Okay, great. So again, I must say that, okay, yeah, LinkedIn helped you in that scenario as well. And I must say that it is a very efficient, it is a very good approach to reach out to the people on the LinkedIn and that's why it is there. So I believe that's the, this is, these were all of the questions from my side and just want to wish you all the best for your future. To before wrapping up the video, I just wanted to know if you have any advice, any suggestion for our, for your juniors or whoever is watching the video. So please go ahead, go ahead with that. Yeah, sure. So uh, my final piece of advice would be that first of all, be as much consistent as you can and coding consistency is very important. Secondly, mm -hmm. keep talking to people to seniors who are more experienced, they can for sure give you something which you don't know. And uh, obviously, you can learn from their mistakes. Right. And keep exploring as much as you can don't get stuck on just one thing that I have to crack product based companies. Maybe a uh, gate is a better option for you. Maybe MBA is a better option for you. Maybe non tech uh, jobs are better option for you. So just keep exploring and keep talking to people and be consistent and work hard. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. And I believe, yes, I do agree with you what you mentioned, because I believe that not everyone is for coding. You, you know, you have different skill set. Maybe you can be better in something else. So yeah, guys, keep exploring as what uh, Brinda mentioned. So thank you so much, Brinda, for accepting my invitation and sharing your valuable experience with all of us. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you so much, Samira.